Matty, hi mate. I um, just wanted to send over some notes from uh, our session in the studio earlier. Um, we've got some high speed capture here. I'm also going to talk you through the 3D capture that, that we did. I'll also send you the 3D reports on a separate email as well. Um, we obviously didn't talk too much about technique because you are having help with that from somebody else, which is, which is really good. Um, so I don't really, obviously we don't want to disturb that. Uh, but you were interested to to get some some measurements and and, and some some sort of confirmation really that, that the stuff that you're doing is is pretty good. Um, when you start, this was an area that we that we did discuss a little bit. Um, when you start, you have 13 degrees of pelvic tilt, but 49 degrees of upper body um, bend forward in your in your posture um, for me in an ideal world with uh, correctly fitted clubs um, and a player that is able physically able which you are you're obviously um, a, a personal trainer yourself so you're aware of, of, of your posture um, in a perfect world we would want a little bit more tilt of the pelvis forward to about 20 degrees and we'd like less bend of your upper body to around um, to around 40 degrees we did capture um, after using KVEST bio feedback we did capture a new posture we didn't talk too much about the pelvis um, we just focus a little bit more on, on your upper, but for me, this looks much cleaner um, and much more athletic, and, and you kind of agreed with that as well. Um, from you being used to looking at postures, you know, you, you really like the look of that, that swing on the left. You kind of said how much freer your arms look um, and how much more athletic the upper body, the upper body looks there. Um, so I, I really like that, and I believe there's some benefit um, in, in you pursuing that. Um, let's just roll you through your swing. This is this is from the start of the session. Once we discussed posture, we we didn't really talk about your. You, you swing. We did confirm some some good stuff. Um, you're obviously quite a high club speed player, uh, average five iron, somewhere in the region of 94 miles per hour. So you're a high club speed golfer. Um, at the top of the swing, the 3D analysis confirmed some really really good stuff. Um, you had 39 degrees of pelvic rotation. And you had um, 80, sort of high 80 degrees of upper body rotation. This gives you a really large stretch and a really large coil between your pelvic or your pelvis and your upper body. Um, that will be a contributing factor, a significant contributing factor to why you are a high club speed golfer. You also sequence the transition and the downswing really efficiently. Um, your pelvis leads the swing off, followed by the upper body, followed by the golf club. And the timing of that movement is excellent as well. We use the 3D um, to help us with that. So you actually create a bigger stretch in the downswing, when your lead arm is level to the floor, you have a bigger stretch between your pelvis and your upper body than what you did at the, at the top of the backswing. So you've increased your stretch due to your really good sequencing. This also helps you to be an efficient golfer as well obviously playing off a low handicap of, of two. So the, these are the, the points that make you a, a really good, powerful striker of the ball. 
um, leaning the club shaft forward into impact and, and getting a good impact um, through the ball is a direct result of sequencing. So we know you sequence well. Really, really good movements. As I say, we didn't really, we didn't change any, any swing. We didn't, we didn't talk about the dynamic of your swing at all because I know you've got some good stuff going on with, with a coach already. Um, we just used the, the 3D to, to, to help you to understand if there is any areas and and to understand your swing a little bit better. So the key for me, Matt, um, and, and something that we have taken from today, I would suggest is um, is posture. When you hit some balls, you really started to, to stripe a few. I hope this has helped, and, uh, and I'll catch you later. Cheers, Matt.